from where they're at in the truck, from where they got to drive to, if they do the speed limit or even 10 or 15 over, they'd have a perfect boat launch. Everything goes perfect. And everything on our end goes perfect. We beat them there by a solid minute. Solid minute. Basically all that algebra that they said, you know, you would never use, Brooks has used it. We hooked up with the guys that we went with last year and they were ready to see some new ground because the first split was tough on them. And I actually knew an area that I had hunted a pretty good bit uh, years ago that was normally good when it was dry and kind of devised a plan to get what would be the considered one of the best spots out there. And this one particular spot had been shooting them pretty good and the guys that had hunted it the first split, I think they were in line for a solid week uh, spending the night in a truck waiting to go and uh, we obviously weren't in line for a week but we really wanted to hunt it and I devised a plan on how to beat those guys in there from an alternate route and uh, it involved a boat a lot of guys and a GNU. We're rigging up our our dragging apparatus kayak handles some rope we're about to test it out in the yard <laughs> We're gonna have tryouts. See if you make it. We're gonna have not. tryout. We're gonna set it up. We're gonna get everybody's time. That's right. I'm driving the boat, so I don't I don't have to do a time drag. But everybody else is about to have to get out here in the yard. After I beat them boys in the morning, that's the first thing I'm gonna say. Don't get bitter. Get better. Brooks is the type of person that he's gonna read the fine print of every rule book website whatever he can get his hands on to find out how he's going to beat you legally i've heard some pretty elaborate plans as far as getting a hole or you know doing things like that and i've been a part of a lot of crazy ones but this one has taken the cake for everything i've ever done to kill a duck this particular spot i've actually done a similar method and used a kayak but i knew a kayak wasn't going to be fast enough to get us to the spot and i was like what could i get that I could strap a motor on that would be pretty light. And uh, I remembered seeing a fella use a GNU at a spot and it, it ran like a scalded dog. Rig on top of a rig. <laughs> this is the GNU Reaper edition. <laughs> I searched Facebook Marketplace, found one in Tuscaloosa, drove and got it put it in the water the next morning with Eddie and did a test run and checked my speed and did the math. And it was like, if we, if we do this right, we're gonna get it. It may be raining in the morning, but we're gonna win this race. It's about 2 a.m., 70 degrees. Spitting rain, not ideal conditions, uh, but here we are, back, public land grind. Oh yeah. So we launch from the boat ramp and Brooks takes off and the motor's running like a top. Everybody's happy, we're there early. We round the bend, Brooks has got the cowling off his motor and I'm like, 
right, here we go. At that point, when I saw um, the cowling off of that little motor and Bucky digging in toolboxes and looking for shop fans and everything else, I feel I felt for sure we was on plan B at that point. Bucky Bucky started breaking. He got he got half a loads in the back of that boat. Yeah. What? Brooks is laid out. Got the cowling off the motor. Time's ticking down. Um, carbs leaking gas everywhere. Thank God I got a screwdriver in my boat. He tightens the gaskets down on it. We're back in the ball game again. So we get up on the bank. It's 3.58. They walk us through this. Say it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna round a tree. There's a little bit of an incline. Well. That was the first lie I was told. All right, ready? We we about 30 seconds or so. Probably the longest minute of my life, waiting on four o'clock. This should be any second. Go, 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 go! Right, right, right up the hill. Straight ahead, straight, straight ahead, straight ahead. Take off at four, like we're a high school football team again wide open, make it over there. It looks like Mount Everest. I was told it was a lightweight rig and it was all flat ground and neither one of those was the case. Pull, pull, pull. Smoked him. Smoked him. There, I don't even see another light. That was uh, worse than expected. <sighs> Told us it was flat ground. Blake was dragging the team. The boy got it. Oh, Quadzilla. <laughs> Eddie, grab that toe. Stretch me out now, I'm cramping. <laughs> if he'd have had a whip. He'd have been popping that thing on after the get go. To be determined if we got the hole, but uh, it wasn't for lack of effort if we didn't. When I heard we got the hole, I was ecstatic. What? What'd he say? We got it. <laughs> Hell yeah. It does pay off sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess I had probably about a mile run in that GNU and got to the spot. And it was like, wow, I did it. We're here and nobody else is here. And it was pitch black dark. And I was like, where's everybody at? Like, we, we beat these folks pretty good. And next thing you know, here a boat comes. And uh, needless to say, he was not happy that I was there before he was. What'd you put in from, bud? Huh? Where'd you put in from, bud? Is that, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. It's not across the lake. Now. We got a lot together. Well, we got about 10, so maybe, maybe 12. We was here first, fair and square. Y'all cheated, that's fine. No, we didn't. We got legal proof. Legal proof, 100%. Hey, there ain't no sense in y'all putting any decoys out. We got plenty. Hey, that's fine. I just like seeing mine too. So normal etiquette on public land is first come, first serve. Uh, if you're the first to a spot, if you're whole, and if you're second to a spot, uh, normally you need to go find another spot. I guess it's become a common deal to ask somebody how many people are hunting with you and how many people we got and if it seems appropriate, hey, would you mind if we hunted with you guys? Uh, that was not the approach this person took. He just said, we're hunting here too. Uh, there were some words exchanged, but it didn't get too heated, thankfully. And 
after a lot of discussion, they decided to go hunt another spot. In a world with not much respect, you are kind of... Hey, I ain't got to hear your shit, to be honest. Hey, I haven't told you to leave, I, but hey, you, you could have said, hey, do you mind if we can hunt with you guys? But you said, we're hunting here too. Uh, yeah, and that's how it's going to happen. I've seen people matter, uh, but not in a long time. They, uh, they were shell-shocked. Uh, they weren't happy to see us, I can say that. I, I mean, had I been sitting in line for a week uh, trying to get a spot and I got beat, I'd have been upset too. Like, I get it. Uh, but at the same time, if I'm going somewhere, I've got plan B, C, D, and E, and apparently all they had was plan A, so they, they really wasn't wanting to, to give up their spot. I think he's more confused, maybe shell-shocked than mad. Uh, but don't get better, get better. Busting. It just don't get no better. He likes to crawl, peel him off the ceiling a little bit. He uh, holding Bucky back is pretty tough. I'm not sure why he shoots a 20 gauge, but uh, he likes to shoot him up top for sure. Buck, Bucky's bad influence. We didn't didn't call a shot. He said, "Man, we should have shot him. If they get close, we got to shoot him this time." And we did. So I, I know Brooks wants some dragging their toes, and I'm like. Brooks, please, God, please, me let me shoot these dogs. <laughs> it's been an awful year this year. <laughs> Great state of Arkansas to hunt is to, to shoot these running necks. I don't know if that's why everybody does, but this is the reason why I come to Arkansas. The next day we decided to kind of switch gears and hunt with these guys we were staying with at a spot they knew. So we really weren't expecting much. Uh, they hadn't been doing very good in this area, but it was going to be a lot easier hunt. We knew we could get the spot without a whole lot of contention and uh, it ended up being a great hunt. It was windy, the sun was out, and we had some get right.
some. Oh, 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 oh. Right. That was pretty. <laughs> they don't uh, They were all against me tree topping yesterday, and then today suddenly it's okay for us to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different day. The mileage make you do different things, don't they, Brooks? <laughs> Oh my lord in heaven, did y'all get? Hold on one second. I feel better about it now. <laughs> I didn't shoot. I didn't call the shot either. Sky blasting. <laughs> Bucky take him wherever he can get him. High, low, on the water, wherever. Uh, he ain't really got no preference that I can that I've seen. Not this weekend. But he he ain't he ain't wanting to take any shells home with him, I'll say that. Might as well get a plaque plaque made to hang up on one of these trees. This, this, this is our spot. Uh-uh. A Mississippi group had a t-shirt made about this spot. What's ours gonna say, Blake? Gino Cowboy. Gino Cowboy. In a picture of <laughs> We wouldn't have been hunting there, you know, if they'd have beat us there. They ended up moving, uh, which was the right thing to do. But uh, in all reality, we just need to respect others and uh, follow the rules. Uh, man, in my opinion, there's gotta be a little bit of honor in the whole running deal. If you get beat, go somewhere else. Apparently they were bragging to everybody around town that they were first in line every morning. These guys apparently couldn't be beat and well, they've been beat now.